question are you in a relationship covering eyes emoji <laughs> i don't know why people like asking me this question hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a q and a first of all just ignore the fact that i'm holding this microphone like this because i find that it is always clearer when i hold it up to my mouth as opposed to clipping it on my shirt okay so that's that i thought to round up the year by doing a round off the year by doing a q and a video i got you guys to send me questions that you wanted me to answer my instagram people are always ignoring well not always but like <laughs> they ignore me a lot so most of the questions i got were from youtube here on my community page currently filming on wednesday today's wednesday tomorrow is thursday i intend to put out this video tomorrow and i'm filming during the day unfortunately because i don't think i can film at night and still edit save and upload before 6 p.m tomorrow so have to make do with what i have without further ado let's get into the video i have my laptop here so that's where i'm going to be reading the questions from i don't even know which ones to start with okay i'm going to start with the instagram questions because i actually got them first before i got the questions from youtube so the first question says this is from favor it says how are you gilda how are you really doing i want to really know your mental state of health cute eyes emoji <laughs> okay um I'm actually fine. I'm I'm fine now, but I won't even lie when I say 2022 has been very very rocky for me. Like it's just been very topsy turvy. I think I've even been explicit enough with you guys about it, but some details I'm still trying to keep to myself because I'm not really I'm not ready to do a holistic life updates yet so hopefully that time will come and then i can give you guys the tea if i'm being honest i don't have any mental health okay i joke about this thing a lot <laughs> but I actually mean it i don't have any mental health i'm just surviving on vibes and grace of god <laughs> but thank you very much for asking thank you i'm 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 getting better out here i'm getting better okay um okam eden says 2022 in one word hmm i would say eventful yeah it's been very very eventful this year <laughs> it's just been <laughs> it's just been very eventful i would also say topsy turvy but because he said 2022 in one word that's why i'm saying eventful it's been a crazy year i won't even lie what was your first job post nysc how old are you have you always been the person who speaks her mind okay so a couple of you were sending me like multiple questions in one <clears throat> i'll try to answer everything and make this video not to be too long okay so my first job post nysc when i was serving i was working as a hr um officer or exec and i got retained in the same company so that's where i currently am and then sometime in july i think it was july or august i now switched to the marketing team where i work as a copywriter and a content writer so i would say that was my first job it's still my job because that's what i was doing when i was serving but then after serving i now switched right so yeah the second question is how old are you um i'm not really comfortable putting my age out there i think somebody asked me the same question in my in the last q and that i did but if it helps i'm um, in my early 20s i, I just i know some people know my age who am i kidding like there's nothing to hide but it's just like the fact that i keep getting this question means that a lot of people don't know and i like to keep it that way so i just don't like put it putting it out there so i'm sorry <laughs> have you always been the person who speaks her mind yeah i think i've always been like this i think hmm, right now i'm even more refined or more polished if you will because when i was in secondary school i used to be like the class hole okay i used to be like the class asshole <laughs> oh my god because i was that person that was just i was just an it kid like i just knew everything i used to berate people a lot for not knowing basic stuff because to me it was just like how do you not know this you get even even till my university i was like that until i think i've shared this story before one of my lecturers now corrected me and told me hey you have to take it easy with people everybody cannot be like you so that's when i started you know coming down that i've just found a way to present it in a more ideal way and even now people still think i'm very brutal but i i feel like i have even calmed down you know i i try to give people grace i've always been that person who speaks my mind i think it was just when i even came to youtube that i started doing like controversial videos controversial topics and 
right now i'm even trying to pivot away from it because i'm bored to be very honest i'm tired of it i'm trying to do something new and refreshing my family in my family were like this so it's not even just a me thing my my parents are like this my siblings are, are like this so it just so happens that i'm the one that is very vocal about it on the internet so i hope that makes sense okay this username is very weird i am your freaking stalker interesting <laughs> um this person says are you a snob I don't know what do you think do i look like a snob i feel like there's always that one person that everybody be like oh my god she's a snob just because maybe the person doesn't talk much or something i talk much when i'm around people that i know like when i'm around my friends i'm a complete goofball like i'm an idiot <laughs> i won't say i'm a snob i think i'm just like to myself you get i i just keep to myself if i'm outside and in public and somebody tries to say hi to me I would actually answer you as long as you're not being disgusting. Yeah, I would actually answer. So I don't think that I'm a yeah, So yesterday, I went for a wedding and most of the people at the table, I didn't really know them, but I, I, at least I tried to say hi. You know, I don't just like shy away from stuff like that. I try to be very open and social. So I try my best as much as I'm very antisocial. I think I actually do my best. So I don't think I'm a snob. This next question is from Shemai and he's asking, why did you stop speaking to me? Why did I stop speaking to you? <laughs> Why did you stop speaking to me? Um, I don't have an answer for this. I'm, I'm very, very honest. I just think it's one of those things, you know. It's nothing personal. It's just, just one of those things. It's nothing. It's just. See, I don't even have an answer for this. Let me know if you can start babbling here. Dear Omonso says, how is the new job going? So I have had a couple of struggles. I won't even lie. Like, I've been struggling with trying to get used to new writing tools and just trying to adapt to the new environments. As far as my colleagues, they're very cool. I don't have any issues with anybody. Like, they're super, super cool. I don't I don't fight with anybody for anything. I almost never fight with anybody anyway. So, let's just, let me just say that. The job itself is fine. I mean, these are people that I've known for a year and counting. It's the same company. It's just a different department. So, I say it's going very well. It helps me learn a lot of things. Okay, this question, this next question is from my sister, Karen the Third. Um, She said, has your mind now changed? Okay. Okay, no, no. I think she's trying to say, have you changed your mind about Tom Ford? So the, the perfume is a Tom Ford perfume. And she's asking if I change my mind. No, I actually really liked this particular one. It's just that the one that I bought with my own money, I would say, was my least favorite. But this one, this one I'm leaving on the screen now for you guys to see. It's amazing. I love it. And it was my brother-in-law that bought it for me. So yeah. Yechi, oh, Yechi is asking, highlight of your year. Highlight of my year. Highlight of my year. I would say... I would say getting monetized on YouTube and switching to a new job, yeah. I don't think people understand, like, the pressure that comes with working a job that you don't like. It's crazy. You feel like just pulling out your hair. <laughs> you feel like you feel like dying. I feel like I was very, very relieved that I could at least do things at my own pace to some extent, you get. So I think that was my highlight of year and getting monetized because this YouTube thing used to scare me. Eh? I remember how I used to beg people, oh, please watch my page, please watch my page so I can get monetized. I'm really happy that finally that ship has sailed. So that has to be the highlight of my year. And she's also asking, what do you want for Christmas? I'm currently filming this on the 28th of December. I should have done this a while ago. Um, What do I want for Christmas? I guess I want like a new tripod because my tripod is very rickety and very, you know, old and it's always trying to, even today it was trying to embarrass me. I probably want a new tripod, but for Christmas this year, I just wanted peace of mind. I didn't want all that traveling to the village, slaving away in the kitchen for 600 hours. Imagine like usually when we're in the village, we're in the kitchen all day. I'm not even kidding you, from morning till morning. And that's because we'll have to cook for the house. Then we'll now have to cook for visitors. I just wanted my Christmas to be very quiet, peace of mind, no noise, and I'm very happy that that's what I got because I don't travel. I'm very, very happy. And this next question is from Ola. He's asking, are you in a relationship? Covering eyes emoji. <laughs> I don't know why people like asking me this question. Is it your business? Is it your business? <laughs> um, okay. Yes. Yes, I actually am. I am. 
just put, putting it out there i'm sure a couple of you already knew this my friends my close friends they know i hope that question can rest now everybody just keeps asking me so let me move to the youtube comments or the youtube questions i'm just going to try to run through it as quickly as i can Kilome says how do you keep up with work and putting up content on your channel and still remaining and still looking i still remain looking good as you are thank you first of all <laughs> Thank you. I think it's just a matter of balance to get. I just know that I have to do something and I tell myself that, hey, I have to do this thing. If I ever put out any video, any video that you see on my channel, it was probably filmed like maybe two or three weeks ago or at least a week ago. So I just try to batch create. I think I've said this several times. I try to batch create so that I just edit, 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 upload, upload, upload. So when it's time to go live, you guys just see it. So it's not like I'm doing it every single day or every other day. As far as work, I mean, that's where I'm getting my money from. If I'm not serious about it, <laughs> who will be? Um, same thing with YouTube. I take it very seriously. I, I actually enjoy it. Apart from the whole getting monetized and all that, I think like making videos is so important. I think of it like making records or making memories. Hopefully, YouTube is not a platform that will get taken down. But even if it does, I already have my videos stashed somewhere or just you know collected. I've kept them somewhere in my hard drive. So. I can always have access to it so yeah that's how i manage it so this next question is very weird um it's from olivia blount blount how do you feel about being a free woman in the world okay so she was actually talking about people who have their rights restricted like let's say in all these islamized countries and stuff like that it's not like i'm free free but yeah i mean it feels it feels good it feels good and i don't know what answer to that chidima is asking how are your okay sorry what are your plans for 2023 and how do you deal with negative comments okay so for 2023 i mostly want to focus on career i want to focus on being a full stack writer i started taking it or i started getting an idea of what a full stack writer is in 2022 as this year and then i want to strictly just pivot into it so that i can build an actual career out of it i feel like it's something that i am very good at or something i'll be very good at i'll be very interested in stuff like ux writing technical writing i'm already into copywriting and content writing so the more technical aspects of it that's where i really want to pivot into so that i can just be like like a master of all like a jack of all trades if you will so that's that'll be my main goal or focus so hopefully i can i can make that work how i deal with negative comments you know sometimes i feel like some people just send you negative comments to get your attention i i strongly believe that people actually do that so usually i just like laugh i laugh about it or i send it to my friends and my friends me and my friends just laugh about it if the negative comment in quotes is like a criticism i actually take it really well i take it i try to take criticism very well because i mean that's how you grow sometimes you release things i won't even like because i get a lot of stupid as comments sometimes I, sometimes i just delete them because i just don't even want to see it sometimes i just ignore sometimes i go back and forth i try not to go back and forth anymore because it's just like i can't if you don't get it then sorry i don't have a problem people dis disagreeing with what i'm saying i just feel like you can do it in a civil manner you don't have to disgrace your family in my comment section because you your butt hurt by something that i said so overall i just have a very um indifferent attitude towards it sometimes i know that oh what i'm doing i'm good and this person probably is just being a bitch about it and so yeah that's how i deal with it next question says how has the year been career wise were you at any time overwhelmed how did you deal with it hmm. if i begin to speak <laughs> if i begin to speak i will not live here today i have been overwhelmed this entire year somebody was asking me that how was my 2020 one word i will just say overwhelming maybe i should actually say overwhelming career wise it's been good like there's been a lot of progressions just because i switched i like that and i'm trying to even you know learn more courses the direction of full stack writing so yeah that has been good it's been overwhelming just a little bit because it's like i'm new i don't know what to do i've never really worked in any marketing department before so it's very difficult to try to think about ideas because at the end of at the end of the marketing is like for you to try to bring customers to buy from you or to patronize your business so it's hard to blend that with content writing or copywriting because 
the goal of your copy or the goal of your text copy is also another word for text goal of you writing content or writing copy is to get people to patronize you so that's very difficult it's like playing with somebody's psyche do you get you're trying to tell them oh this is why you need this thing and you have to use very compelling language so that's been very very difficult for me i won't even lie as somebody who even studied english you would think okay this should be easy peasy lemon squeezy for you but it's not that easy because it's like 75 percent brain work and thinking before you actually put anything to your paper so i would say in that aspect here yeah, it's been overwhelming but it's a good kind of overwhelming because it's like a challenge but the bad part of overwhelming was when i was still in hr and i was just like i was going crazy every single day i've done a video on this before so i'm just going to link it if you've not seen it before yeah he asked how do how do you deal with it so i i just honestly i cry i call my friends i cry I complain and i won't even lie to you as i'm crying i am doing it tears are running down my eyes i am still doing it because you, you you know like if you're being an adult you actually don't have a choice you just have to do it because if you finish complaining that work is still there for you <laughs> that work is still there for you to do so you just have to do it so i just basically bawl my eyes out and i get to work that's it. that's my coping or that used to that's my coping mechanism if i'm being honest okay so this is the last question i think i saved the best for last is from kevin martins and he sent three questions he said i've got a couple of questions you didn't set a limit for questions so i'll be expecting answers to all three questions okay 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 so the first question says are you a fan of football if yes what club do you support and who would you say is your favorite footballer so i won't say i'm a fan fan like i think football is interesting i don't watch it actively it was just like the world cup that i was keeping up with and that was even just the final match between argentina and france of which i really wanted france to win but they failed me but at least they won in 2018 so i, th I guess that counts for something yeah so i would say overall yeah I actually like football i think it's very very interesting i think it's it's cool i think footballers are very very talented people and it's not easy to do to do what they do as for my favorite player i would say kilian mbappe i don't know i just have a crush on him i think i, I want to tell one time that i wanted him to do a happy birthday video for me for my birthday next year <laughs> he's my favorite player he's really good i know the likes of ronaldo and messi and all of them like yeah they're good but kilian mbappe is where my eye is entering and he speaks french like it doesn't get any hotter than that come on he speaks both french and english i've always had a thing for french i cry from school i've always been very good with french in why i came my ss3 i actually wrote french and i passed i think i got like a b2 or something i guess that's part of what really attracts me or that that makes me have a huge crush on him so yeah <laughs> what club do you support okay i would say psg paris saint germain paris paris saint germain Par psg okay let me know go and bite my tongue here so the next question is what constitutes a perfect day for you hmm okay I would say waking up by 7 o'clock, 7.30. I don't like waking up early. And in my house, wake up by 6 a.m. every day to pray morning devotion. I don't like I don't like praying or like I hate morning devotion. I just hate the fact that it is done that early. I, I don't like being woken up that early. So I would say maybe waking up by 7, 7.30, 7.45. I have stand-up meetings every morning by 8. So I have to wake up before 8. Just a quiet day, being in my bed all through no noise no disturbance let there be light let me have my laptop finish work watch netflix eat shawarma and that will be my perfect day um take some courses on udemy yeah that's that's basically how most of my day goes anyway most of the days in my week that's mostly how they go i don't like i don't like noise i don't like okay i would say yeah and being able to create and film at my own will because usually my house is always full i mean my parents are around they're always calling my name because like I don't know why I'm the one that they like calling so much. So I don't really have a lot of me time to myself in this house. Yeah, all that noise away, that's, that would be like a perfect day for me. The next question, this is the last question. And it says, to you, is there a Nigerian dream? Do you believe in it or are we just kidding ourselves? <laughs> okay. I think the Nigerian dream is to move out of Nigeria and be missing Nigeria from the abroad that's just me <laughs> that's just me being all serious but honestly though i honestly see i actually think that that's the nigerian dream but recently like in recent times because of how bad the, the country has become our economy is really really bad insecurity is at an all-time high and everything is just crumbling 
even in terms of our exchange rates and you know buying foreign currency even to pay for things as little as apple music i can't even pay for apple music using my nigerian mastercard anymore so all those very tiny things that shouldn't be problems that are problems i feel like nigerians are now just tired of it and that's why we're getting a lot of pushback for you know voting for the right candidates which is peter obi yeah, so i feel like right now the nigerian dream would be to just have a work in nigeria because at the end of the day not everybody can leave the country there are people who are really really poor and they cannot even afford maybe three square meals on stock of relocating to another whole country how as in how is that no matter how exposed you are eh, to leave your home country to go to another country i feel like for the first few months at least you would experience some kind of depression i talked about this when i was when i did that video on the time i traveled to america the first time in 2019 i was depressed as hell it's like it's it's so different from what you're used to so i just feel like the nigerian dream right now is to have a working nigeria and we're not even asking for much that's just the crazy part of it anyway i think that that is all the questions okay 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 sorry i, I skipped one question this person says chilo tam will you be making a video will you be making a video on making plans for 2023 and how to achieve them before the end of the year how do you get sponsorships for your videos do companies reach out to you or do you reach out to them okay so this is a couple of questions in one this is the last one I don't think i'm making a video on making plans for 2023 and how to achieve them before the end of the year i should just go with the flow in every year i know a couple of things that i want to do those are the things that i i focus my mind on but i don't make it like you know a do or die affair in 2023 hopefully i can follow the things that i want to do follow my plans through and through like through to the end the next question is how do you get sponsorships for your videos do companies reach out to you or do you reach out to them the few ones that i've done I've been reached out to by them and if i try to reach out to a company most times I'm, I'm just being very honest most times they'll say oh they're not ready to do any sponsorships and stuff like that so i've gotten like a couple l's here and there i don't think it's anything to be ashamed of it's just like part of the quote struggles of being up and coming or just you know being new to this space i, I haven't done a lot but the ones i've done they reached out to me we have a compromise here and there and yeah i don't mind getting more sponsorships from people honestly like i'm even looking to get into that in 2023 hopefully that can actually work i don't know how it's going to work honestly i have no idea but i just know that i have to go and do my homework and i have to put myself out there more i don't even know how that's going to work because i feel like a lot of these brands are always looking at they want to see your numbers like especially on instagram and i'm not really the instagram type like that's not it's just it's not my thing at all so hopefully i'm able to strike a balance somewhere all right guys that's it for this video i have answered all your questions thank you to every single person who sent in their questions you have no idea how much this means to me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to also subscribe and ring the notification bell i don't know why that was really hard for me to pronounce okay ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads i try to upload on mondays and on fridays every week this last part of the year i'm not really sticking to my upload days because it's just like the year is ending and i want to take a break um in january and maybe like towards the end of january or beginning of february i can come back don't forget to leave your comments down below if you have any questions for me you can also leave it in the comments i'll answer them i always reply all my comments i try to reply all my comments so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video i'll see you next year whenever i see you whenever you want to watch any of my other videos okay bye <laughs>